everybody and welcome back one more time to part three of opening our other box that's right here. In the first box we had tuna, thick slab bacon, salmon, um, and some beef, um, st prime rib. There we go. And so what I'm wondering is if all of you who watch my videos and who enjoy my videos to come up with some ideas on how to cook or what to make. Because I'm dying to try some of them. If anybody has a great tuna recipe, I'm willing to give it a shot. I enjoy tuna. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of something different. So we are definitely going to be cooking some food that came out of our box. So let's see what we got in box two. Can't wait. I am so, so excited. Um, I am hoping I did get my kale for my bunnies. I love how these boxes come. I love how they're like with this really thick foam. Um, and a, a giant ice bag that comes in. They keep the food fresh so it can be refrigerated. Oh, chocolate organic almond um, granola. These are for yogurt people and anybody who likes granola. I'm willing to give it a try. I'm pretending to go on a diet. We will see how that works. Uh, I love Annie's pasta. It is grown here. It is actually a local little mom and pop uh, pasta fa uh, factory. And what I love about it is they work with food allergies. I personally can't have gluten. I have to have gluten-free pasta, um, things with no egg and things like that. So I love because they make certain pastas that actually are gluten-free with a lot, no egg, no nothing into that effect on how it is. And they just sent me their potato chinese um, pasta. And I love because they're a part of this. Um, because it, it, I love because you can cater to other people um, and how it is and how look how beautiful and fresh this kale is my bunnies are going to love this um, anybody have a good kale recipe that would also be lovely because I have no idea what to cook with kale I've been trying to make a kale soup I'm kind of failing with it and a leek soup um, here's some darker kale I love how green that is. That's beautiful. I'm enjoying it. <gasps> Purple cabbage. Mm, and it smells delicious. It really does. I wish you guys could smell it the way I smell it. Um, I love getting my parsley. My cilantro. Um, I love because it's a couple different kinds of parsley. One is a curly Italian parsley. The other one is um, a plain cilantro. Um, which I think are great. Yes, bunnies love these. Um, I wish they would put fresh basil on the menu when you order from them. That way you can get it. Um, I love cooking with fresh parsley. Fresh basil, as you know, I'm addicted to it like crazy. I also got a pack of these little shiitake mushrooms. Now, if you ever had um, Chinese soup or anything to that effect, and you wanted to, excuse me there for a moment, people, for everybody. Um, if you ever wanted um, like a Chinese soup or a vegetable soup, during certain times of the year, they have these little baby mushrooms. And they're real tiny. It looks like a cushion, honestly. Um, I opened the package. I was so excited um, when I opened it up. Those are the only thing that comes really in chili package plus the green salad because they couldn't get it as fresh as this as you were seeing. Let's see what else is in here. I'm so excited. Artichoke, anybody? Okay, I really need to know how to exactly make this. I have an idea with shrimp in my head, but I'm not sure if I could use this. Do I have to boil it or can I cook it like this? Here's a question for everybody. If everybody is a food junkie like myself and who loves to cook, and experiment with our food. This is the time to answer my question, please. Oh, look how beautiful that bell pepper is. And it's so small, it's perfect. Oh, mmm. The cantaloupe is a little bit bruised, but it's so soft and delicious. I can smell it. It is one of the awesomest things that I have gotten in my boxes today. I love that the other box had meat in it, and I'm, ha I'm, la I'm thankful that our local farmers who have meat here in our butcher shops are now included in some of this. 
So thanks guys for everything and I hope you enjoyed the video. Later on today, I am thinking or sometime this week and I would love some feedback on it, on having a Q&A. Questions and answers about food. I know I'm not the greatest food critic in the world or I don't know everything about food, but hopefully I can answer some questions and you guys can give me some crazy answers or ideas on what to make next. I appreciate it and thank you. And once again, enjoy your food everybody. Have fun in your kitchen and welcome again to watching Punky's Kitchen. Have a wonderful day.